Sorry about the burp. Start again, and yeah, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, uh, I'm going to be talk telling you why on that Quinn Huff is not a bad driver, and actually, he's uh, better than you think. So, to first get into his career, he first started down on Xfinity, according to Austin Windrick on his shorts. He actually brought, de uh, unlike Bat, uh, like underfunded teams like JD Motorsports and other types of teams inside the top 20 and top 15, top 15, maybe even the top 10 at, at times. And and he actually looked like a, a, a true potential with those underfunded teams. And in 2018, I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure he did the same thing. But in 2019, he and in 2019 as well. In 2019, he got a cup start with Spire Motorsports. So let's be real. Spire Motorsports won a freaking race. So Justin, so uh, thanks Justin Haley. So Quinn Huff was inside a a a, a, a race uh, like a team who won a race. I, that that was crazy. Had a crazy ending. And in 2020, Quinn Huff was announced that he was going to replace Lennon Castle, which I'm still not too keen on that decision because I barely knew who the hell this man was when when he when I first saw him the Daytona 500. But as time grew on, I actually started to like him. And and if he wasn't tearing up cars, he actually kept cars clean. And most of his crashes weren't his fault. It was like people trying to cut him off or turning him in, into the wall or stuff, spinning him out. Like, most of his crashes weren't his fault. But at times, I'm saying at times, he actually did show actual talents and speed and made the most out of it. And his two seasons with Star with Starcom in 2020, he got a top 15 and was hovering inside the top 10. Was in the top 10 from for the late portion of the race with Cody Ware and Timmy Hill. So, it he finished a decent 13th place in like a Starcom racing car. So, if that doesn't tell you, I know it's at Talladega, and if anyone can make something big at Talladega, but if that doesn't tell you that Quinn Huff can drive, then I don't know if anything can tell you that that other like Timmy Hill, Cody Ware can drive, and he's also gotten the team a couple top twenty fives and top twenty uh, places when they are when they usually run like thirtieth um, on back on a weekly basis. So Derek Cope's team, I know they weren't the best team, but they actually. If you look at their stats, like they, I know they're pretty bad, but with a lackluster team, they actually did get some decent finishes at times. Like hell, Lenny Castle nearly won the team, the 2019 July race, like I just said, but he pitted. I wish he stayed out. Damn it. That would have been awesome to see that him win. And as well, um, I was going to say this as well. Um, This year, 2021... He actually got the team at the same racetrack where he got his best career finish a year ago. He actually got the team a top 20 place finish even though he was involved in a crash. So uh, you think he would be done. Nope, he got right back in the top 20 and remained there. So I don't, if that doesn't tell you that he has talent, then I don't know what is. And he got... As well, uh, another couple top twenty, another top twenty or two finishes, and that's pretty cool. Awesome that he did that. He does that. So, as of this recording right now, he still currently does not have a ride. I really does. I really hope he does get a ride back in Xfinity or trucks, because I know he has talent. Knowing knowing him for the last two years now, two seasons, I know he has talent. He just got rushed in the cup way too soon, and those were the good parts about his career so thus far. So. Yeah, catch you in the next video. Y'all, peace out.